Hi guys, welcome back. Like I told you before, there would be another one coming out soon. Um, what I've done is I've sketched on as best as I could with pencil, um, but in the end, we're going to be paying attention to what I've done in paint. So I'll probably be erasing some of what I've done in pencil anyway. So just follow along as best you can. Um, this does not end up a perfect butterfly. This definitely is not one of my favorites, but uh, hopefully it's fun still. And uh, for those of you who like to dot, this one is a dotted one. You don't have to dot it. You can still use the same technique of um, a floating or hovering butterfly. You can still do that and then not dot it. You can do whatever you want on the wings. So come here for the inspiration and create magic afterwards. Uh, so if you're new here, welcome to my channel. And we're a little crazy here and I don't use technical terms. <laughs> um, and if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I love you. You guys are rock solid family and you're very, very important to me. So I have outlined the butterfly in black and now I'm going in with just a little sponge, a finger sponge. I'll leave a link in the description uh, for where I got those. And I'm just making sure that I'm sponging it all out evenly. I'm probably gonna have to do a couple of coats of black, but I'm gonna let the first coat dry and see where I've missed and then go over it again. Uh, but this is basically the general shape that I'm gonna go for. It's not the best. I, I've, I struggle with the shape of butterflies. I really do. I, I struggle making both sides even, making both wings, like the design on the wings, match. <laughs> do you struggle with that? Please tell me I'm not alone. Um, and it's not going to match. And the fun part is now is that I don't care if it matches. I really don't. It still ends up looking really beautiful. And if someone's going to pick on you because it's not equal or even or one thing's bigger than the other, ah, whatever. Don't come for me. I don't really care. <laughs> that's, my, that's my current attitude. Um, I have a few unhappy subscribers that have unsubscribed because they feel that I should not be complaining about my life. And you know what? I agree. I, I'm going to just stick to painting on this channel and making you guys laugh if I can. <laughs> so I apologize to those subscribers who do not like what I have been talking about on my channel. Um, I guess I should save that for my podcast, which hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get started soon. I really, really want to talk to you guys, really want to chat, really want to share some stories and have some fun and uh, be creative. That's what I want to do. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, so guess what? I've got out the gold already. I've outlined the butterfly in gold and now I'm kind of thinning it out in areas, cleaning it up. We're going to be doing a lot of cleanup. Um, that's what I do when I, I have mostly black and gold outlined items. Um, which is often, it's almost every time. So you guys are, if you're, if you're not new here, you're aware of this whole cleanup part. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the butterfly hover. So you want to make sure you do it on a light colored stone or paint the background light colored first and then let it dry really good. And then add lots of water to your black paint. Like just... I always just fill up a whole new paint pan. I put a little dab of black paint in there and then add water, mix it up really, really well until it's very transparent, but still black. You don't want it to be so watery that it's not even, it doesn't even show up as color anymore. Still want it to be black, but very, very transparent black. So it's kind of like watercolor. You could probably get away with using watercolors on this. Um, so my stone is very light colored. 
first of all, because when you seal this, everything's going to go darker. So you want this shadow to be darker than what your stone is when it's sealed, if that makes sense. I'm actually going to go with leaving it unsealed for this video um, so that you can see what it looks like unsealed and matte because I find a matte top coat when you're doing this kind of effect where you want your thing to hover over a stone, um, whether it's a dragonfly or a butterfly or you've got a shadow of a frog or, or whatever, uh, or underneath a leaf, you're going to want to use a light colored stone no matter what. Um, but a matte coat over top of it, sometimes it kind of helps for some reason with keeping that shadow uh, noticeable. But this is just my tips. You do what you want to do. Um, but I am creating, and because my rock is so slanted as well, it's watery black paint. So it's like trying to run aw away on me. It's it's uh, got a mind of its own. So I'm trying to catch it really, really quick where it puddles and make sure it doesn't like run down the rock. Um, if it does, I'm going to try and take some nail polish remover and a Q-tip uh, to any areas where it might have gone where it shouldn't. Another tip for you. Um, and then when I'm done with the shadow and I let it dry a little bit, I'm just going to outline my butterfly again, separate it from the shadow. Don't outline the shadow, just the butterfly. Um, and I made sure to put a shadow underneath the, the antennae. Antennae? Ugh. What's the technical term? Somebody's going to put it in the comments anyway. <laughs> it's antlers. <laughs> moth antlers. Did I tell you this is going to be a moth? No, it's going to be a butterfly. We're going to do a moth soon, but this is just a butterfly. Okay, so now I'm adding some gold. We're going to just create a funky design I'm going to try and do it as equal as possible on either side, but you're going to see if you're, if you're looking for it, you're going to see that I, I, I make mistakes and it doesn't match up. Um, but what I'm going to try and do is, is make it look like it's as even as possible. <laughs> That's what I'm going to try and do. So I'm going to create a design. You can create your own design or you can follow along with mine. Um, and then once I've got it all cleaned up, when I'm done with the design and I'm happy with it, then I'm just going to add some color. And I'll probably speed it up when I've added the color. Um, if you're not going to dot yours, you might want to paint it first. Um, also do a white background if you're not going to dot it. Um, so that your colors stay really, really bright because you're not going to be able to blend bright colors or anything on top of black. So if you're going to use no dots and you're just going to paint it, uh, I would definitely suggest doing a couple of coats of white paint uh, in your wings. Make sure everything's cleaned up and then you can do your color and then do your gold design on top. Um, so you just have to do it in a different order, but I'm going to dot mine today and, uh, cause I love dotting. It's therapeutic for me. Some people are just like, I don't know how you have the patience for that. But I don't know how I have the patience for it, <laughs> but I do. I can't stand waiting for my kettle to boil or waiting for the toast to pop up. Um, I can't stand waiting for waiting to give my kids their Christmas presents. I can't stand it. Like sometimes they get way too many gifts before Christmas because of it. Um, yeah, I'm not a patient person, <laughs> but I don't mind dotting. It's very like calming for me for some reason. If I'm like listening to a documentary or, or music, or I'm listening to my kid laughing and playing outside on the trampoline with his friends, like it's just therapeutic. I feel at ease, I guess. 
So I'm cleaning everything up. You can see that I'm kind of going back and forth between gold and whoa, it got, for some reason I thought that was my eyes, but I'm pretty sure it's my camera. <laughs> it's going fuzzy. Everything's going fuzzy. It's okay, guys. We're okay. Um, yeah, so I just keep going back and forth, cleaning up the black, thinning out the gold, and uh, that's just all part of the, the process. And I do apologize for it constantly going out of focus like that. Uh, once again, I'm trying to do as equal as possible on either side. Uh, it's best that you go back and forth from side to side. Don't go too far on one side and then try and duplicate it on the other. I really do recommend going back and forth from side to side for sure. Just, uh, just another tip from me. Thank you. I'm here all week. Um, I thank you for some of your amazing ideas that you've sent me. Um, also, I did get a couple of parcels in the mail and I'm going to be making paint thanks to someone who sent pigment. Um, so I will be making a little bit of paint. I made up some paint binder yesterday. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know who you are. I'm not going to mention first and last names or anything. Um, I just want you to know that I appreciate that you've sent something to help me as well as uh, UV gel. Yes, because I'm going to be doing that on one of my, well, my moth tutorial. I'm going to be showing you some really nice stuff on there. So, and UV gel is, is the main, the main event. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for anyone who has sent me a donation to PayPal. Um, I'm going to be uh, making sure that I get your names, at least your first names, and uh, and say thank you again. You have no idea how much you've helped me and my son over the last little bit. Um, and thank you also for anyone who has hit the like button and the subscribe button. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube, uh, the robots that work at YouTube, like to play around with things sometimes and then you guys don't get notifications and you don't even know that I'm posting videos and I've got like what over 300 of them now so you're missing out make sure you hit the subscribe button and you hit the notification bell uh, to all so that you see everything I post even in my community page or if I upload new merch um, which I will hopefully be working on at some point very soon. Um, but I will let you know. Now, I have added some big gold dots in some spots. We're going to let those gold dots dry. And then we're going to turn them into gold rings. Um, but right now, I'm going to bubble up some color. I call it bubbling up. And this has always been a term that I've... It's just been in my mind every time I do this. It reminds me of pop or, as my American friends say, soda, um, which I love. I love that. I love that you say that. Um, I, it looks like the, the bubbles that are coming up from the bottom of the glass. Um, so when I, when I say I'm bubbling up the color, that's, that's what I mean. It's not a technical term. Don't come for me again. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be bubbling up both the bottom and the top of the wings and then we're going to be bubbling in <laughs> some colors with that right now I'm using like a apple red you can use whatever colors you want but I will list the colors in the description as always and if there's anything that I've forgotten to list in the description please uh, put it in the comments and uh because my brain is all over the place uh, at the moment. So please <laughs> remind me if there's anything I've forgotten. So I'm I'm ignoring that there's even gold around. I'm just going around it. Uh, don't worry so much. Don't worry about the sizes of your dots. Don't worry if they connect together or if your paint's a little bit runny. Don't worry. Just fill it in. Go around the gold as best as you can. Steal from the bigger dots because they don't need that much paint. They're selfish. You steal from them. Saves you from going back to your paint tray, right? Oh, I've just turned those gold dots into rings. And all you do is add a black dot in the center of them and make sure not to 
erase the gold, keep the gold ring there. I'm going to let those dry and I'm going to add some moon yellow on top of my, I believe that was coral, uh, pink coral, but I will list it in the description of this video. So this is all moon yellow, filling it in. I'm going to sprinkle in some green um, and a little bit of lavender. I'm going to bring the yellow up to the top as well. So I'm just kind of bubbling it up, filling in the spaces with color all the way. Um, yeah, and you can choose whatever colors you want. You You don't have to... Uh, do the the gold rings that I did but you can put like say Swarovski crystals or something flat back crystals you can do like a glitter on those uh, dots you can use hologram 2796 or you can chrome the dots if you want to as well um, there's all sorts of things that you can do in butterfly wings, you just have to get creative. So I am going to be adding a little bit of patina or a drift. They're both very similar. Um, patina, I guess, is a little bit lighter than a drift. So I'm going to choose a drift. Uh, but either one would be awesome. And I'm just going to fill in some areas with that. And then I'm going to sprinkle in lime green. And what I mean by sprinkling... You will see in a moment. <laughs> but I do want to just put this. It's kind of like a like a mint, but with blue added to it. It's a very pretty color. And it's very bright. So all of these colors are very bright for a nice butterfly. It's gorgeous. I'm telling you. Gorgeous. So here's where I sprinkle. Now I'm just kind of going over top and in between, just adding kind of like an ombre from yellow to green because I'm going to be bringing the green up and, and also sprinkling the top where the yellow is at the top. Um, but yeah, so I'm filling this in with just green in some areas, but I'm sprinkling it on top of the yellow and it just gives it a nice effect totally up to you. You do you. I'm just trying to be creative. It looks pretty cool. There's like a strange design. When I look at the just the black, it kind of looks like a weird dragonfly. It's strange. <laughs> I need to stop looking at it that way. What do you see? So here's some light lavender. I was going to put white in here, but I decided not to. Uh, I really wanted color so light lavender it is gotta have some purple in my butterfly I've done a lot of butterflies you guys are probably tired of them but someone did mention in the comments they wanted me to do a butterfly so here we go I can list in the description as well a link to some other butterflies that I've created I one of my first tutorials was a floating dotted butterfly kind of like this one um, so you should check it out. Things have changed a little bit. <laughs> Still fun though. Definitely fun. Those illusion rocks are always fun. And now you just have to kind of guess where the shadow goes, depending on what you're painting. But this gives you a little bit of an idea. So now I'm just making sure everything is still outlined in gold after dotting everything. Once again, part of the cleanup process. Make sure everything is outlined. Make sure you sign it because you're the artist. Right? <laughs> I, I think it looks beautiful. Let me know what you think in the comments. I am going to leave it without resin this time, guys. I'm sorry. This is probably like... This doesn't happen. So some of you might have resin withdrawals, shine withdrawals. Um, but I promise you I'll be back soon with one. And I'll even show you some stuff at my desk next time as well. I just really wanted to get this out to you and tell you guys how much I love you. 
And thank you for the ideas. Thank you for your support. And as always, keep painting. Bye.